hello everyone this is asmrif welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial today i'll show you how to change the background or replace the sky whatever you can tell but uh, this one is a nice video i am telling you just because of it's too easy to change it okay and uh, just uh, do your yes, color correction or other things okay let's start i am just opening up an image which is stock image i downloaded from the deviant.com so easily i'll just select this photo by using the quick selection tool here is the quick selection tool go to the quick selection tool before that make a copy by pressing ctrl j of this background layer for the safety purpose or feature use whatever you can consider okay i'm selecting the subject easily just because of its uh, okay after that just go to the select and press the shift button hold it and select and mask option you'll get option before that just turn off the background okay select and go to the select and mask and press the shift button and hold it okay uh, here i'll do some edge correction This correction I'll do. The suggested settings could be like that. Okay. And go to the layer of the layer mask and hit. After that turn on the layer and just select this one turn off this layer and select this middle layer go to the select option then modify and uh, expand and make it 30 percent 30 pixel and hit ok and then go to the edit and go to the fill and content error ok I just deleted the subject from here and turning on this one for the background purpose okay that's good and I'm just mask this one I'm going to the gradient mask and selecting the last gradient and make it black when it's white just just reducing this select the background layer and go to the file and place the embedded option and replace the sky over there like that okay, okay i'm reposition this one like that okay that's good and select these two layers and making it group making it merge okay and after that go to the filter and then the blur gallery and tilt shift from the tilt shift i'll just add some tilt shift like that and hit the ok button that's good and, but here is the blurry options and I want to reduce the, those selecting this mask actually this mask and going to the brush making it white it's black and I want to bring back this one areas all the things it will make more natural look for me okay increasing the opacity and uh, fill okay okay it will give me the perfection uh, for this image all the shadows all the areas okay 
this gate and selecting all the things and make uh, it bigger a little bit and hit ok after that i'll do color correction of this photo that's why i'm selecting it just making it group making it merge going to the filter and camera filter from the camera filter i adjust the color and other things First, I'll go to the effect and add some vignette over there. And the dehaze option, I'll dehaze this one. And from the basic, I'll de highlight this one. Highlight and reduce. And add some shadows like that. Okay, that's good. And blacks, I'll add some blacks. And add some contrast. And the PIT 5% variance tree. And from the camera calibration, I'd add like that the primary blue color. I'll reduce the saturation from the HSL. I'll reduce the saturation of blue a little bit and add some aqua offset. The saturation luminance of blue I'll reduce and orange also. I'll just increase luminance and add some saturations. Okay, and hit. Okay, we are getting some nice color from the filters and after that I'm going to the filter again and the new collection color fix pro from the color fix pro I'll add some color like the okay from the color palette and I using the cross processing filters those are actually filters over there can add any kind of filters from here I'll add this filter get an amazing color from these filters Google Nick collections it's an amazing collection for you. you can do any kind of color contrast over there okay just making it group making it merge let's see what was our previous image our first image and after editing that you are getting this image from this tutorial okay thank you so much thanks for watching my video really if you have any kind of question or query please do comment in the video comment section and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friend till the next video i'm asmr signing out and coming back with the new amazing tutorials thank you so much